A clearer picture is emerging about Omar Amin's life here in the U.S. and back in Iraq. Amin arrested yesterday in this Sacramento apartment for allegedly leading an ISIS convoy in Iraq to murder an Iraqi police officer in the Al Anbar province in 2014. But 45 year old Amin was a welding student at American River College and an employee at a local auto body shop. As neighbors describe him, Amin seemed like a hardworking family man. We were shocked, you know. We couldn't believe it was happening, to be honest. Back in Iraq, in Rawa, he was a very good person, and his family doesn't do anything yeah. bad. The voice you're hearing belongs to a man who didn't want to be identified, but was close to Amin both in Iraq and Sacramento. He believes the government's case, based in part on one eyewitness, according to unsealed court documents, is weak. Just someone like reports him from Iraq, maybe have something with him. But the intel gathered against Amin in court records tells another story. An extensive history of alleged terrorism dating back to 2004 with Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Everyone would agree that this is a failure of the system to let this happen. Attorney Mark Reichel says with his extensive history, Amin should never have been let into the U.S. under refugee status. The system is really stringent. I mean, this is the exception. The screening process is meant to prevent this. We've never had one case of a, a, an alleged or even an actual terrorist in our region. Deborah Ortiz is with Open Doors, a refugee resettlement agency. She says cases like Amin's are incredibly rare and should not reflect the larger refugee population.